Turn it up, mm. turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. I don't really care what people say. I don't really watch what they Boom! Yeah, man. We are here with another video, man. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Smash the like button. Y'all see the title, man. We got Oxtails, Jamaican, Trinidadian, and somebody else. Listen, man. Oxtails is my favorite delicacy. Am I using delic delicacy right? It's one of those meats, paws, that's just so soft. And like, if you cook it right, it's tender, fall off the bone, flavor enriching piece of meat, man. And, and some people might be like, oxtails, what is oxtails? If you don't know what oxtails are, research it right now and go to your nearest. Well, I don't know about this. Actually, hold on. Research it for sure, but go to your nearest Jamaican spot it might not be the best advice because not everybody could cook it good. You got to go to certain places, okay? Now, I've had experience with bad places and good places, so I won't tell you just go and find your nearest spot. But do your research because you're messing up. I tell you what. Hey, if anybody know of a great Jamaican restaurant over here in the U.S., shoot the Addy. Shoot the Addy. I thought somebody was behind me for a second. Shoot the Addy in the comments, man. Go ahead and do it. Hey, I'm in Florida, so if y'all know some place in Florida where I can go to, boom, let's do that. I can go with my wife or whatever. But if, 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 if hey, shoot it down there. Let's go. A video from Coco Butter. Yadi, hey, Coco Butter is a national African black, uh, <laughs> it's a flavor of lotion. Everybody know cocoa butter in the community. We have Caribbean men try each other's oxtail. Pause. That kind of sound kind of, you know, if you're not careful. But let's see, man. I'm trying to see these oxtails. Pause once again. Let's hop straight into the videos. Eddie Ed. You watch Eddie Ed TV. Pow. Oh, bug might have nibbled at it. And there's hair in it. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let's tie this thing by like times we can't speed it up oh yeah play play speed let's get it my name is thomas molzak i've been making oxtail for a few years now but i've been eating it my whole life and i am representing for saint vincent and the grenadines saint vincent representing trinidad and tobago yo look at this guy right here though doesn't he like for i remember when i first saw him by the way i recorded this reaction before but my mic was not even on, so I'm redoing this. But the point is, when I first saw this guy, I thought this guy was like animated because he looked so his his skin looked so clear. It looked like it was it was animated. That's that's how good his skin is, man. I don't know what he's doing to the skin. He's probably using cocoa butter. Let's get it. I've been cooking oxtails now about ten years. My name is Christopher Callender. I've been making oxtails for my whole life, and I'm from Jamaica. I'm a combination of being self-taught, just having my own experiences, having a bunch of like online influences, but also just growing up in Brooklyn. I was super immersed in Brooklyn. Food scene. Growing up, having Trinidadian parents and living in Savannah, Georgia, so I had like a wild. And though he kind of looked like a cleaner version, and 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 look, look, man, if it's taken that way, I'm not trying to really. Well, I, I guess I am saying it, but I don't. He looked like a cleaner version of um, designer. He does, or, and a light skin version, a lighter skin version. Anyway, I just wanted to point that out. Maybe I might put a picture next to him to to, to see if he, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Mix of things that I would oh, be exposed to eating. Jamaicans and the Caribbean have the best oxtails, without a doubt. I would say Trinidad and Tobago makes the best oxtails. I would give Jamaica as a close runner-up. Yes, Jamaica deserves its shot, but these other boop. nations, these other islands, these other, you know, smaller islands also deserve it. talk, buddy! It's supposed to be pronounced as oxtails. I think Ox it's... Oxtails. Oxtail. No, that's one of the things that makes the food so unique and so... Boop. Well, I mean, no oxtail. It's oxtail style. use of fresh herbs and spices having some also dried herbs and spices it's a big part of african-american cooking you gotta have some good green seasoning a good assortment of bell peppers and herbs thyme and <laughs> spice are like the, the two things you definitely need in most things hey y'all know they from the island when they say herbs is herbs anybody like it's so funny because the h 
appears where uh, I guess it actually you know what and man this English language is is is, is something else isn't it you say herbs but it's an H in front of it and you don't pronounce the uh, uh, the H but in Jamaica they pronounce the H and in some words J J Jamaica don't pronounce the H um, or not that they don't pronounce something but I might even I might even recall it right now so let's go to the video things that goes along in a lot of the recipes especially in jamaica there are several factors that can lead to underwhelming oxtails and one of those could be just not salting it enough not having a flavorful beef stock not properly washing your oxtail can definitely ruin your dish you need to wash it two to three times with some lemon or some vinegar forgetting to soak your meat in vinegar can potentially ruin your oxtails if your oxtail's not falling off the bone go home yeah if it's not falling off the bone we ain't talking about the same tone. In my opinion, my oxtails are the best because I put so much time and flavor into getting that correct green seasoning and then allowing those to brown in the pan with the sugar and then just stewing away with the vegetables, the bell peppers, meals act seasoning, and the green seasoning. And just kind of giving it a nice, rich, sweet, savory sauce. So this better be fall off the bone. The best. That's what I'm talking about. Has a decent aroma. I like the way it smells. I see the butter beans in there. <sighs> Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, he can already spot out the. Uh, it's a little oily. He can already spot it, it out. It's not bad at all. It's nice and tender. It's chewy. It's high in salt. I'm tasting a lot more of the spice. High on in it. salt. I'm getting a little bit like the scotch bonnet maybe have popped in the when they were cooking it. I mean, I like spice, but I think it's just too spicy. Not quite what Caribbean oxtails is. You could cut a little bit more of the fat off, but it's falling off as you see. I like that. They cook it definitely cooking long enough. I like the texture. I think that's the best part of me. The way it's falling up, I'm, I'm really just pulling it off. The quality of meat is not what I'm used to. And the one inch cuts, I actually hate one inch cuts. The, the oxtail should be cut at one and a half inches just because of Damn, that. he know the, the measurements way. and everything? You oxtail, you want to be like. Yeah, hey, listen. If you get an oxtail and there's not enough meat on it, bro, like, you, you biting bone. So, yeah, definitely the thickness of the meat, Paul's got to be the right amount or... You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like, ah, I'm biting with barely nothing on it. And but that one guy said it's high no, he said it's high in salt. You know, salty food. Ah, it's like, oh. Ugh. This is pretty small. And they're tearing it. Oh god. I'm sorry. That wasn't that's that really is. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> it's good. And the carrot's good. This tastes like Jamaican oxtails to me. It could be a little more saucy. I feel like they let it cook just a little too long. Besides that. What? I mean, don't have any complaints about this one. I'm giving this a solid eight. I'm gonna give it a five. <laughs> it's give the it pepper that's really killing me. Too spicy. <laughs> You're gonna give it a five. Ouch. Dang. I'm self-taught, but I mean, obviously, I learned from my grandmother. She was the first person to cook mm. oxtail for me. Rice and um, peas. Ways of actually making oxtails and also oxtail and rice and peas. Develop the, and make a more complex flavor in oxtails. I like actually making it in the oven. This time I was like, let me just put this at 300 and just see what it does for seven hours. So I've really used this more like an experiment because I've actually never slow cooked it like this before. From what I taste, it tastes pretty damn good. Oh, we got the, ooh. It looks very pretty. I didn't know we could bring rice. I would have brought rice. I should have brought rice. <laughs> Oh, say with fancy, huh? Good presentation. Partially on top yeah. is new. I guess just a little flair. I like hey. that. I actually like the size of the oxtails. Man, I want some right small. now. A lot of times these places are just like cutting them super thin. So I like a big meaty piece. You can pick it up with your hands. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, man. Mm. The rice on the side with it? It's not bad at all. Bro, no, I promise you, if we had if we had a restaurant here that I knew about, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm bringing you guys. Y'all going to see me bite what I'm about to bite. But... I don't, we don't have it here, man. Somebody send me the Addy, man. Please, I'm in dire straits. I'm in dire need, guys. Not as much as I would like it to be. The flavor is really rich. I feel like maybe it's the caramelized sugar. Also, like maybe like a, the allspice or the clove has like a little hint of that. Something really sharp. It's giving me like a teriyaki vibe. The flavor is good. The flavor is really good. It's kind of sweet. These kind of remind me more of American. Oxtails a little bit. Ooh. The best part of the dish is how tender the oxtails are. Oh, yeah, it's salty. I like. This one doesn't have any spice to it at all. Good oxtails should have a little, that balance that has definitely has to have a little hint of sweetness to it, but you need a little bit of that pepper, a little bit of that spice coming behind it. It's probably like a hint of bitterness, but honestly. It, it, okay, do y'all like your oxtails spicy? Me personally, I don't want it to be spicy. I don't want it to be sweet either. I want it to be that middle area where it's like, it's not spicy, it's not sweet. I don't know if. It, Drop in the comments what, like, do you, do you like best of both worlds, hot and sweet? Or, like, kind of, like, in the middle where it's not, like, really sweet or, or spicy. I like that in the middle thing. I want it to be very tender, though. It got to be fall off the bone tender, and it got to be, like, gravy thick. You know what I mean? 
the the gravy that is cooked in has to be flavorful to add to that. Because if you don't have good gravy on an oxtail, it's not going to pop like it needs to, especially with the rice, with the rice and peas. You know what I'm saying? I can't even, like, be mad at this dish. It's, it's really good. You know, I'm not going to hate. I would have loved to. This one is a little saucier than the last. A little more of that stew and a little more of that juice and flavor is sitting on it. Maybe taking out <coughs> a little bit of the clove or, like, allspice if they use that. Just, like, a tiny bit less. But other than that, I think this is a pretty good oxtail. I'm going to say 7.8. It's not hanging out do it. as much as I would like. And it's missing that spice. I'm going to give this a 7. Yo, did that light-skinned guy do his eyebrows? I've seen my parents make oxtails growing up. I've kind of taken a few notes from them, but as years have gone by, I've created my own recipe. I'm confident my oxtails will be the best because I'm, I just have a mixture of flavors. I have a little bit of my Trini culture, my green skin. Trinidad! I was raised in Georgia, so I got a little bit of that experience and that exposure in the culinary world. I know he said culinary. I had my oxtail seasoning longer than everybody else, so that's a big fact right there. I've been sitting in seasoning since Wednesday, so. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's been this day. Hey, what okay. day is it now? <laughs> <laughs> Parents is good. I see the butter beans. A leaf is cute. Bug might have nibbled at it. <laughs> that just shows you. Yo, hold on, bro. That, and I think that always adds a really rich flavor. Really Why are you using the C word? word? This one's pretty good. I love that they put butter beans in it. It makes sense with any Caribbean axo. This one's more like smoky, a little spicier or a lot spicier. It works. It's not like too sweet, not too spicy. It's like neutral. Definitely a higher, better quality meat. Wait, it what? Cut as it's supposed to be. How are you going to like say it's not that spicy or oh, it's real spicy and they say, ah, oh, this one is not that spicy. What are you talking about, bro? What? Are you lying? Yeah, I will say they're like TV oxtails. Like, I can see this on a Golden Crust ad or something. I don't yeah, think yeah, 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 used yeah, in yeah, this. Yeah. I can tell just because it would have made this a lot more tender. And it's crazy because all it takes is like <laughs> like five to 10 minutes to like soak it in vinegar. I think the last one was a little sweeter, even though this one has carrots, ironically. I like carrots in my oxtail. I usually don't make it like that for other people. I blend it, like puree it, and put it into the actual um, gravy itself versus having the actual whole carrot. I'm not as much gravy. Are oh, you over there analyzing it? Gravy, which isn't a bad thing. Maybe take the the heat down just a tiny bit. I'd give this one a seven. We're gonna rate this one a six and a half. We'll give it a seven, why not? Jamaica, boy, boop, 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 boop. This is what I expect. Wagwan. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. <laughs> I'd like to thank Jamaica for being responsible for the best quality oxtail in the yeah, world. Yeah, I'd like to be friends after this. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, everyone just has different tastes. I was just so happy to be a part of this. I'm gonna tell you, this whole thing is rigged. They didn't brush their teeth this morning or something, and they still got something messing with their taste buds or something, but I'm gonna take my L in peace. Oh, he lost, son. You lost, doggy. Listen, yeah, it, I already knew Jamaica was gonna win, man. I already knew Jamaica was bound to win, dog. You know what I mean? Um, listen, oxtails, man. Somebody, this is the third time me asking. If you have an Addy in Florida, drop the Addy. I'm taking a trip down there to get my box. Okay? I'm dropping, I'm, I'm, I'm driving down there to get it. And I'm gonna record it and I'm gonna get my reaction of that as well. <clears throat> Jamaican, man. Jama hey, I should drive, I should go to Jamaica, right? I should take a vacation to Jamaica and go and go try to motherland oxtails. I I mean, it only makes sense, right? I like Jamaican oxtails. Go to Jamaica and grab some. But for now, let's do Florida first. And <laughs> let's do Florida first and then we'll travel later. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're hungry, man, go get something to eat. And make sure you have your water on you too, man. Don't be lacking out here. Don't forget the bath um it's Eddie Ed watching Eddie Ed TV catch you guys next reaction peace <laughs>